This is our 100th episode of Brief But Spectacular. Mm. I'm Steve Goldblum. And I'm Steve's favorite grandfather, Richard Goldblum. It's very fitting that you are the 100th uh, guest on Brief But oh, Spectacular. I'm flattered. You know why? Because I'm 100 or nearly? Well, you are close to 100 years old, <laughs> which is amazing. Yeah. Uh, you know how old you are? No. You're going to be 93 this year. My God, if I'd known I was going to live this long, I would have taken better care of myself. And it's fitting because you titled this series. You I came up I, with the name. Do you know I that? I remember that. that. The story that I tell is that I went to synagogue and left. That's correct. Snuck out, came back in, and what did you say? I said you'd made a brief but spectacular appearance. I wanted to ask you a couple questions, not just because you're my grandfather and I love you and I, you know, Look Can up I get to that in writing? No. Part of what I wanted to ask you about is that you right now uh, are going through memory loss. Change of life, yes. Change of life. And things that you used to do for yourself, like manage finances, drive a car, manage medicine, other people do for you. Right. And I wanted to ask you if that bothers you at all. No, I consider the alternative. What is the alternative? Being dead. So I'm quite happy where I am. Yeah. If I can remember where I am. Do you know what we're doing? I have no idea, <laughs> but keep talking. Uh, we're going to look into this camera here. Right. And we're going to do on three a big clap. Okay. Right in front of your face. Ready? One, two, three. Just well, one just clap. Just one clap. What does it feel like to forget, or does it feel like anything? Well, there are some things I'd rather forget. In that case, it's a blessing. And otherwise, I learned to live with it, you know. People remind me, like, when to get up, when to go to bed, things like that. Do you remember when you stopped driving? Uh, did I stop? You stopped driving, yeah. I didn't know that. You know, I, I don't particularly miss it. People drive me everywhere. Tell me the role that music has played in your life. I grew up with a lot of music in my environment. And I took to the piano very readily. I played by ear before I ever had a music lesson. I still play, but mostly for my own ama amazement. Tell me how lucky you feel to have had the kind of marriage that you have, which is extraordinary when lasted more than 60 years. Yes, that is true. Uh, that was a test of my wife's endurance. It was a great lifelong love affair. She was a very acute assessor of other people. And she was very good to me. She recognized all my shortcomings and uh, discussed them with just about everybody. <laughs> when she passed away, how did that change your life? Oh, dramatically and forever. I mean, I still miss her a lot. And uh, in that sense, you know, something vital has gone out of my life. And you still think about her every day? Pretty near every day. Every once in a while, I take a day off. What do you still take pleasure in? Life. My name is Richard Goldblum, and this has been my brief but spectacular take.